Hello and welcome to ShowMeAcademy.com. In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to hide and unhide rows and columns in Microsoft Excel 2007. A lot of times you might have a spreadsheet that has certain data that's used maybe for calculating other parts uh, of data that's shown in another part of the spreadsheet, and you don't necessarily want to display that data uh, for casual viewing and yet you still want to keep the data there for reference. So a good thing to do uh, to get the data out of the visual spectrum is to hide it, to take those rows or columns, and you can hide them from view while still keeping the data in the spreadsheet. And we'll show you how to do that here. First of all, you'll notice that uh, all the rows are always numbered to the left, and all the columns are lettered across the top. And if you click on any one of the rows or columns, it will allow you to select that entire row or that entire column. And what I'm going to do, aside from just selecting it, I'm going to right click on that. So for example, here we have the C column and I'm going to right click here. And when I right click, a context menu comes up and from the context menu, we're going to choose the hide item. Now you'll notice that when I do that, the C column basically disappears. And there are a few visual cues to show you that this, that this has happened. First of all, you'll notice that the logical order of the columns up here has been subverted because we go A, B, and then there's no C, it goes straight to D. So that's a clear visual cue that you have a hidden column there. It's hard to tell, but you can actually see that this line right here as well between B and D is slightly thicker which is basically indicating that there is a hidden column there uh, which can be exposed. And you can do the same, things, the same thing with rows as well. I can go over here to say row number six and I will right click on it and once again a context menu comes up and I'm going to select hide. And once I do that, I have the same thing happen where my numbers go from one through five and then they skip to seven and the line between five and seven is slightly thicker. Of course, you could do multiple columns or rows at a time as well. I could take all of these here, and I could right-click, and then click on Hide, and they're all hidden. And now you can see we go straight from A and B to G, because I have a series of columns here that are hidden in this spreadsheet. Now, of course, hiding the columns does not actually remove the data. It's still there. It's available for us to do calculations upon, and it's available for us to view if we choose to unhide it. The way you unhide items is that first you need to select the rows or columns that surround the hidden data. In other words, here you'll see that we jump from B to G, so clearly there are some hidden columns between B and G. So I'm going to select both of these. I'm going to left click on B, and while I'm holding my left, my, uh, left mouse button down, I'm going to drag it over to G. And when I do that, now I have B and G selected. And what that really is doing is it's actually selecting everything from B to G, which means that also the hidden columns of C, D, E, and F are also selected. And while those are selected, I'm going to right click here. And now instead of choosing hide, I'm going to choose unhide. And that will restore any columns or rows that existed between those selected columns or rows, and it will unhide them. I can do the same thing over here with the row that I hid. I hid row number six. So in order to get row six back, I'm going to select five and seven. And when I right click here from this menu, I'm going to choose unhide. And now all my data is back. That concludes this tutorial, and thank you for using showmeacademy.com.